Hi, good morning. Welcome back to another Meet Time Wednesday together where we're going to continue in our look at the eight laws of health. We, the last time we were looking at temperance and we're going to continue to talk a little bit more about that. Thank you so much for joining for us for our mental education and expression time together. We're going to pray and then we're going to proceed into our routine. Father, we thank you for your grace and your mercy and your love. We thank you for another opportunity to meet on this Meet Wednesday together. We pray that as we continue to learn about your will and how it is that when we walk in obedience, our whole health can be secured. Even our mental health can be improved as well as secured. We pray that you'll help us to understand the things that you are trying to teach us here and give us the, um, the full loyalty and the strength to surrender to obey them in jesus name we pray amen all right so let us also review quickly our memory text our memory text we have been doing a text for this week it is um psalm 72 and verse 78 rather and verses 3 and 4 it says which we have heard and known and our fathers have told us we will not hide from their we will not hide them from their children, showing to the generation to come the praises of the Lord and his strength and his wonderful works that he hath done. So we pray God will help us to be able to recall that for Friday and for other new seasons as the Holy Spirit leads us, so we can use it to glorify God's name. Alright, so now we're going to go into our reading for temperance as we continue to look at temperance here all right so we last time would have covered that temperance um includes making sacrifices and choices um so that will line us up to be obedient to the will of god um even if it requires us denying ourselves or denying what we would have known to be normal all of our lives we have to be willing to make those sacrifices all right so we're going to continue to examine it further it says here in our share that um, God's way is parallel the last thing that we look at to the sanctuary or um, sorry God's way is parallel to God's saving um, saving health God's saving health so we're gonna look at how the sanctuary relates to this it says here that um, God's God has used a special structure called the sanctuary um, to illustrate his way psalm 77 verse 13 speaks to this he commanded the children of israel in the exodus um, to build a sanctuary for his abiding presence we can read that in exodus 25 and verse 8. now when you look at the sanctuary model when one enters the sanctuary the first thing that faces you that you will see is the altar of sacrifice so the altar of sacrifice is a furniture that represents the full surrender not just of one's likes and dislikes but a full surrender of the entire being the entire person mind body soul plans intentions desires ideas ideologies beliefs traditions you know everything circumstances to god it represents that the, um, the altar of sacrifice represents that calling that God has for us, that desire that he has to make us one with him. And for it to be accomplished, we must take the action of surrendering all to him. And surrendering all is not a one-time event. It's something that we do daily, circumstance by circumstance. This, of course, my friend, is the true step towards um living the temperate life living with temperance so uh as we said this is the first furniture you will see so unless the step of temperance or full surrender i should say in the in the um the actions that we're taking to work our lives to become one that is temperate and fully surrendered to god we must um take the step of surrender daily in our walk in our various situation and unless this step is made there can be no real progress towards the victory in the christian journey and i would want to add to that specifically 
there can be no expected victory in this controversy where we're fighting against um, evil and where we're, where we're also warring against the flesh because the flesh is graven and shapen in iniquity. And so for us to win this battle over self, right, and the, the demons and devils over um, of this earth, then we must learn to surrender our entire being, our powers and our desires and our will to God. That is where my friend, true temperance finds its firmest and most important foundation and center. All right. It says that this calls for sacrifice or self-denial um, means means the exercise of temperance in all things. So it means that everything that comes to us, birth, by circumstance, what is making a choice for school, making a choice for relationship, making a choice for diet, making a choice for the clothes we wear, every single thing comes under this umbrella of full surrender to ask ourselves the question, will this glorify God? Will it be pleasing in his sight? Can heaven endorse it? Those are the questions that the person who is um, making strides and efforts to live the temperate life will continuously ask ourselves situation by situation, circumstance by circumstances. It says in the book written by E.G. White, Temperance, page 138, true temperance teaches us um, to dispense entirely with everything hurtful and use judiciously that which is healthful. So anything that will hurt us with the body, mind, um, spirit, we will put away those things and we will choose only those things that are helpful to the body remember the scripture teaches us that our body is a temple of god and he wishes to dwell in it and so therefore in reverence um to god we would take care of his temple and also if we truly desire for god to dwell in us um then we must keep our temples circumspect all right so more to the point true temperance involves um, both the quality and quantity um, in our choices and one should choose the right quantity which is of the best quality and I will add to that only according to thus say the Lord so in other words while practicing temperance and trying to be temperate in all things we cannot choose for ourselves what are the the um the indicators of the quality and quantity that will please god it must be according to what god has already given us guidance in his holy book um the bible to um to follow as our um indicators as to what is is good and how it is that we practice moderation in those things you know as we said earlier in our talk we cannot practice moderation in all things with our own um, qualifications of those things. Moderation in all that is good, and that good is determined by the only one that is good, God himself, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. May God help us as we continue to um, discuss and consider this matter of temperance further to truly understand its meaning and its calling and how it is that we can take step to live the temperance life, which uh, for matter of fact, as simple as it may sound, is our only hope of salvation. May God help us as we continue this journey. Let us pray to close. Father, we thank you for your grace and your mercy. We thank you for teaching us about temperance, a very necessary foundation to access the salvation that is laid down and available for all of us who will surrender to your will and your guiding, your guiding um, light as it's presented to us to fully receive full salvation and entrance into the eternal life help us father starting off today all of us who are so interested and desirous to do to begin to take step to live the life that is temperance and so therefore um prepare to take up our salvation and enter into your glory in and also into the heavenly kingdom when you come in jesus holy and righteous name we pray amen let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts 
be known always acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Thank you so much for joining us. I pray and um, encourage us all to go forward and live the temperate life that Jesus Christ demonstrated himself whilst he was here, which is our perfect example for temperance if we lack any. And may the Holy Spirit empower us to truly live the temperate life. God bless you and see you in our next video.